Hi everyone, welcome back to Febrilage part two. We had a pretty slow start with this week because I was able to post this one, which is Miss Money Mischief. This is a piece that I sold at the Toronto Outdoor Art Fair last year. And then we moved on to this one, Life is a Box of Chocolates. I made this piece last year and I thought it was so fitting. Good morning, I've woken up early to do my Febrilage for today. Now I'm gonna be moving on to the next prompt which is ghost. I don't remember putting this one in the pile, so I'm curious to see what else is in here. The second that I saw these two photos together, I definitely wanted to do something with them. I love that this is just like an outline of them. It's almost like shadows of ghosts or something. And this photo here, could be really interesting, just almost pasted on top of it. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut these people out. This guy's kind of funny because he doesn't really go in it, but I think there might be something interesting there. We see this guy looking down. I wonder if I'll end up cutting them out and he's like looking, I don't know. So this is my best bet here. It's definitely a darker piece than I usually do, but I think it would be nice. This one's pretty simple, just a two-piece collage, but maybe I'll keep a stare there just for now, and we'll go from there. is from one of the books that I got uh, in the summer on my art retreat from that uh, vlog that I posted. It was from an antique store and this is like a Hollywood uh, movie book. I mean, I really like how this actually works. It's a little bit darker for what I usually do for sure, but I think that I could literally just cut that this way. So it would be like less cutting and cut the bottom of this and then have it like hide the text as much as possible. I like to cut the bottom first usually, so let's do that. Straight as I can. This paper is thicker than the usual ones that I use since it's from a book, so I just tried to put on a little bit extra because I know that it can hold it and it won't ruin the papers. And then I'll just do a quick one of these to make sure everything stays in its place. The next prompt is Celestial, and unfortunately I didn't film a lot of this one just because it was a piece that has been sitting on my desk for a long time. Now when I originally made this piece, I had about 10 of these jewels and I only had one left, so the very green one is the only original. And then I scanned that in and changed the colors with the hues and saturation. I tried finding other shapes online, but all of them looked kind of tacky and weren't exactly what I was looking for. So I was able to bring this one in, just change it around, add some grain to it. And then I edited the background to have a little bit more purple in it, just because that's the way it looks in real life. And I really liked that aspect of it. 
I really liked the prompt celestial because it was a very ambiguous and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with it right away or what other people would do with it. So mine ended up being a little bit different than other people's, but I think that everyone kind of had the same idea with this like astrology feel um, and that sort of thing. I tried to pick rich jewel tones just so that it would match that kind of birthstone feel. Another day, another febrilage. Okay, so I'm also going to grab all the pieces from Smile because that one is over and I think these also kind of demonstrate like the meaning of life, especially, you know, that one. Um, I really wanted to use this picture potentially. I love that they're just like in a little globe. Um, I'm just not sure what to add to it or if it'll be cut out, if it'll look fine, if the glass in the background is like a different background. Um, maybe this though, I was thinking I could have it like sitting on top of this. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be another digital one. I feel like I'm doing so much digital stuff <laughs> for Febrilage, which I usually don't do. Um, so yeah, that might be something just because I like the idea of like a clock and life, um, and this like timeline, choosing the right person. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot, a lot of good connotation in here that I'd like to work with. I think this isn't big enough, so I should probably cut out this clock and then find a bigger piece that has kind of the similar look and feel. Life kind of an interesting prompt because it's kind of like super broad, right? I'm gonna enlist this book for help, Life Beyond Earth. I think that I could find a kind of cool photo for the background um, of this. Even if I had like two pages of stuff, it could be like a very long piece. So I think at this point I want like a super long collage so I think I'm gonna take like a piece like this where I can cover up small pieces of the text. I think I can actually cover it up fully with this one so I might actually cut out these two pages and that way it doesn't take away from all the other beautiful photos in here. Now 
now that I'm seeing this, I really wish I could fit the whole holy terror word in here as well. Because I think that it's kind of funny. It's like this like existential dread of what's to come. And this is like the storybook. This is like the beginning of the story. So I'm kind of trying to work this a little bit more like that. Perhaps maybe this sticks off the edge. It's already broken a little bit. I was going to try to fix it a little bit more. But I was thinking like it would go from like this is the storybook you get married you get a car maybe there's a house and maybe kids and then you're running out of time so maybe the time goes at the very top um yeah i think that i i'm seeing where this is going now i think i like this layout a little bit better and i could picture like either a house fitting in here or like a kid so let's look for that it's like kid crawling they could fit into here black and white and the rest of this is kind of very colorful but I think that's kind of cool I wish I could find a photo exactly like this in color After some thought, I don't really like the black and white photos with this. I think like with the black background, these other photos are just so high contrast and I like where this is going so far. But I wanted to go over here and look and see if there's anything that stands out to me. And right away I was thinking maybe a fishbowl would be kind of interesting because it's like, you know, your first pet. There's already a dog on there um, and I was thinking like the coin maybe could be cool. Um, shoes are too black. The other coin doesn't really make sense. Something like this could work like your first TV set together. So, I don't know if this exactly makes sense there. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find a better object there. I'm a little bit stumped as to what I should do with the very last image at the very top because I feel like this is almost like a timeline, you know, um, of like where the story starts, marriage, time, buying your first car or pet, uh, getting a house and watering it. So maybe this is going to be like a house here. I just don't have any photos out right now, so we might have to go do some sourcing because I don't know where my little collection of them are. I also just want to highlight in here, if you've made it this far, thank you and I would love your opinion on which one of these collages become art prints. Uh, every single year I do a Febri Lodge edition of art prints and I think that a couple of these might be good contenders so I would just love your opinion and see what you think. After the month long challenge, I usually pick my favorite ones, I get them printed and I originally was going to do them limited edition but a lot of them end up being my best sellers so I actually have a lot of my ones from last year still available and I ruled out some of the other ones that weren't doing as well. Anyways, would just love to know what you think and which ones deserve to be our prints or you could picture being in your house. 
While looking for the house that I wanted to use, I also found this match, which I thought would be good for the, the initial spark of a relationship, the ring to symbolize the marriage. I liked these ducks because they reminded me of like Tony Soprano because he has his little duck family. This door for financial opportunities, and I even thought of like a toothbrush potentially to symbolize like the everyday tasks that we have to do. While I was making this collage, I just had so much deep excitement within me. I could picture exactly what it was going to be, and I just could feel it was going to be a really good one that I really ended up loving. I loved the concept. It really felt like it fits into what I, I value as an artist. I really love making pieces that challenge the status quo, and this one is definitely doing that. I think this piece is both going to show off the importance of a mundane life and the beauty of it, and also the faults of it. This is definitely a piece I want to bring to an art show. I love getting people's opinions on pieces like this if it makes them feel sad or happy because it does show just how simple our lives can be. It starts with the storybook, the holy terror, and then the marriage and being stuck in your own little globe with that one person. And time is always a factor. You're either in the rat race or you're head down with kids or life is going too fast. Opportunities fly at you. Maybe you get a car and do some road tripping and get a family dog. Or a family goldfish. Maybe you stomp across some money that you didn't expect to ever get. You buy the house of your dreams on the end of a cul-de-sac. And then you spend decades and hours of time watering your darn grass. You watch the seasons pass on and the ducks fly north for the winter and return for the summer. And there you have it, the longest piece that I've ever made. And I'm just really, really in love with this piece. I fell in love with it right away when I had the concepts and I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you watched the first video of Fabrilage, a lot of these pieces I put to the side and really wanted to use. So I'm happy to bring them all together. I love the punch of red and greens within it and the dark background just really brings it all together. So this prompt isn't for a week or so, but I am really excited about it and it's just something that I really wanted to try out and this photo is obviously an iconic one. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now, uh, making my own rules for Febrilage. As you might remember from my last Febrilage video, uh, this picture is used on the cover of the book Cut That Out, which is one of my favorite collage books. I don't know exactly why, but I've just seen almost every collage artist I've ever known use this piece, so I just thought maybe it was my turn to make a piece with this picture. And the prompt is geometric. Although this background piece isn't exactly geometric, it definitely has the squares and shapes that it needs to in an organic sense. The hardest part of these longer challenges is the mental state that you need to be in in order to achieve them. Right now, I'm feeling a little bit out of creative juice. I just feel like there's been a lot of other things in my life that have been taking over that reserve that I have for my creativity. So I just wanted to take the time to do something that I was really going to enjoy. And I've been thinking about this prompt. I think when you're creatively burnt out, it's okay to throw yourself a little low hanging fruit. This one was definitely really fun to make and I loved having the vision for it beforehand. It just made it a little bit easier on me mentally to create it and really be excited about it. And just looking at the bones of this piece, you can't deny that there is just a fun aspect to it. The colors are so inviting and these people jumping off the cliff are just living their lives to the fullest. It's definitely a change in pace from the last one, which was very pessimistic of me to make.
I love this last minute addition of using this hand. I think the colors are perfect and they definitely add something to it. Let's take a look at all the pieces I made this week. You can definitely see that I had this more pessimistic start to the week and it finished with a big bright glass of orange juice. Life is sunnier when collage is in it, so please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I have lots more coming. Thanks for watching!